Today I'm going to make an amazing buffalo chicken dip. This is gonna be good. Okay, let's make some chicken buffalo dip or buffalo chicken dip. I don't know what you call it, but it's good. I'm going with, this is a two pound rotisserie chicken. I'm going to shred all the meat from the bone. I'm gonna add some mild buffalo wing sauce. You could use Frank's Red Hot. I'm going for a milder dip today because we just don't like things extra spicy. One eight ounce package of softened cream cheese, eight ounces of mild cheddar cheese, eight ounces of sour cream. This is actually Mexican sour cream. Whatever you got works. For the seasonings, I'm going with garlic powder, lemon pepper, onion powder, smoked paprika, and one packet or envelope of ranch dip seasoning mix. So let's put this together. Okay, buffalo chicken dip, here we go. Over a medium low heat, here I have a pan. I'm gonna add one eight ounce block of softened cream cheese. Now to start, you'll want to just move this around, melt it down until it gets smooth and creamy before adding the rest of the ingredients. This is gonna take a little while. You could put this in the microwave as well to get it started. Okay, this is smooth and creamy, or it's almost there. I'm gonna add in 16 ounces of uh, sour cream. This is Mexican style sour cream, regular, works this is just what i have i know i said earlier eight ounces and i'm like no that doesn't sound right so yeah it's the entire container 16 ounces give that a mix my packet of ranch seasoning some garlic powder onion powder lemon pepper i would say like a half teaspoon of each a little shake of smoked paprika a uh, quarter teaspoon of that. It's really the dried seasonings and spices are up to you, really. Give it a mix and let that just kind of warm through and get creamy. Now I'm going in with half, uh, just maybe a cup of the cheese. I'm gonna go in with my chicken. Let's mix it all together. Oh, and the whole point of this dip, let's go in with our buffalo sauce. I'd say three quarters of a cup to a cup works for this. Oh yeah. smells so good so this is pretty much where I want it now shut off the heat this is going to go into a small 1.5 1.75 baking dish it's not a 9 by 13 it's smaller than that okay so this is what I'm working with You'll want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, this smells so good. Go on top of this with the rest of our cheese. Okay, so this is going in a preheated oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, uncovered for 30 minutes or until everything is just golden brown and bubbly on top. You can dig right in and burn your mouth, or you can just let it sit for a little bit. I'm gonna garnish with some fresh chives and chopped parsley. Right on 
top. Oh man, this is gonna be good. Okay, now you just take your chip. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.